What up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dawson's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. It's Species Sunday. How is everybody doing today? Hope everyone's having an awesome weekend. I know I am for the next hour and a half before the Browns come on. Um, I don't know why you trade away your best player um, two games into the season. I I'm hoping there's something up with Richardson that we don't know about. Uh, I'm really kind of depressed and just angry about that, really just fired up about that. Uh, and I had to just share that with you because, you know, it's just a painful play. It's so hard to be a Browns fan. It's so hard to be a fan of the Cleveland Browns. But I have a greenhouse. It's full of fish tanks. It's a beautiful fall day. I'm going to frolic. I've also got a lot of fun stuff going on for you all. Um, first and foremost, great feedback on the Facebook fan page and on the video I did on Friday about the lighting of the tanks. Got a lot of fun stuff playing with there. Uh, also got the dirted tank. Dustin's complete guide to a dirted tank. Old Dirty Dustin. Still working on the title, though. A lot of great feedback on that on the Facebook fan page. That's coming out. And on Saturday, this Saturday, I've got an epic video coming up. I'm going to show something I learned a long while back about how to build a fish tank. So if we get excited about that, I want to show you that. But first, it's Species Sunday. Let's talk about Siamensis. Where did you go, my man? I'm talking about you and you're hiding on me. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? You're probably sitting on a leaf. Here you go. Siamensis algae eater, Southeast Asia. I've had this fish behind the one with the big turd for quite a long time, probably four years. And I originally did not even buy him. My boy Brejan just bought four of them and was like, yo, you need to have these fish. And I had four of them and they schooled together really awesomely for a long time. They're only about an inch, uh, an inch long when I got them. He's about four years old. They say they get up to six inches. I've seen them six inches, I'll buy that. Um, there's one there, and then here's another little guy down here. I was reading they don't have that great a swim bladder, so they like to just kind of rest. So there's the little boy down there. Um, a really great algae eater. Really, real pumped about having them. I wish I had more, and uh, actually the one got a cold water spell. I had them separated, and I killed one of them. But that's uh, one of the OGs right there, if you will. Great algae eater, although I will say algae eating in regards to, yeah, if there's not other food around. So this guy will eat other food get provided to them so uh, I kind of recommend I don't want to say starve them but they say you know three three days or so they'll be back to eating algae because they've got a high metabolism so I thought that was kind of cool um, these guys really like like schooling fish and other fast-moving fish I mean you can see he's got like a pointy darted body and he's ready to go I mean he's ready to like zip around and you know just go all over the place he's acting kind of uh, I don't know like he's calf bothering the rainbows but I really think he digs living with the rainbow so uh, community. I'd like to see people get, you know, three, four, five of them. I had uh, these fish for four years. And then before, I want to talk about another fish that I had, not to be confused. Um, that's a Siamensis. This is a picture of a flying fox. So there's the flying fox, Siamensis, flying fox. And I want to point out the differences here. See, the, see the, how the tail extends right there? How the black line extends to the tail? And actually, it does it through that one as well. But this one has a brighter gold on top, like the real bright line gold, and this one doesn't, okay? There's also uh, like the color in the tips there and the tips there. This is a flying fox. Um, that one, not so much. So that's how you tell the two of them apart. I had the flying foxes that I just showed you in just a picture um, down when I lived in Florida, and they were rambunctious. I had like four of them, and they were just boom, boom, boom. They were all over the place. Um, I like them, love them in a planet tank, really do. I think they got good personality. You can see this dude's chilling, he's hanging out. Um, you know, can handle a range of pH from five and a half up to eight. Um, does well in a planted tank, likes schools. They say they're territorial when they have like just two, but they school together when there's more than one. So that's what I want to show you about the Simons. Tell me about your experience with Simons. I'd love to hear it. Um, those, and I want to talk about the species Sunday I did last week. I talked about cyanobacteria. I had this tank covered for an entire uh, an entire week. I literally just took the cover off of it. Obviously, the fish are fine and the cyano is gone, folks. It was covering everything. I added that jungle valve and it's just kind of bleh, whatever. But the cyano is gone. The crypts have the, no more cyano on them. Uh, a lot less cyanobacteria in this tank. Completely blacked it out with a blanket. I mean, just used a ratty old blanket and just blacked it out for seven days. The fish are fine. The plants are fine. I mean, it's, don't be afraid to do that, folks. People are like, oh, I won't be able to feed my fish or see my fish. Like, just do it. You'll get rid of this. You'll, you'll kill the whole thing. Like, you can stop cyanobacteria. Why battle it with, like, little chunks? Just 
take a week, cover it up, get another fish tank while you're at it. So that's what I'm doing. I want to show you guys that. And um, that's really it. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, wife and kids are gone. I'm going to go bust out some more edits on the uh, Dirted Tank Manifesto or whatever the heck I'm going to call it. Still working on the name. Love your feedback on the names. Give me some more, please. Uh, I got to go through the editing and all that. So that's fun. Then I'm doing that video on Saturday about how to build a tank. So get excited about that. And remember, folks, no matter how bad your team is and how bad they lose, at least they aren't the Browns. That's all I can tell you. So hope everyone has an awesome week. Make it an awesome week and tank on. Later.